Why is ultramarine blue often called French ultramarine? The ultramarine blue that we use today is a synthetic version of a much older pigment. Natural ultramarine blue was extracted from lapis lazuli, a semi-precious stone mined in Afghanistan. In Europe, it was the most expensive pigment in the artist's palette, usually reserved for only the most important subjects, like the robes of the Virgin Mary. By the beginning of the 19th century, natural ultramarine blue could cost as much as four francs for a single gram. That's about seven pounds, eight euros, or eight US dollars today. In 1824, a French society offered a cash prize to anyone who could synthesize ultramarine blue for less than 300 francs per kilogram. In 1828, French chemist Jean-Baptiste Guimet presented his synthetic ultramarine. It was chemically identical to the natural mineral pigment, but could be produced for a tenth of the price. It was introduced as French ultramarine blue to distinguish from its natural counterpart. The creation of French ultramarine blue is one of the great chemical success stories of the 19th century, but it wasn't universally loved among artists. Painter William Wilde said that he loathed it preferring the natural pigment. And JMW Turner was apparently suspicious of it at first, simply because it was French. But it might have turned out differently. A German chemist called Christian Gemellin came up with an almost identical process at almost the exact same time as Guimet. If he had been a little quicker in publishing it, we could be talking about German ultramarine blue today.